United States Centers for Disease Control is preparing for a Chinese-sized outbreak of coronavirus here in the United States. This is based on the deployment of 160,000 coronavirus tests across 115 labs in the United States with plans to distribute a uh, rapid test to primary care doctors sometime in mid-June. The CDC has created a uh, coronavirus detection grid across the United States by deploying 92,000 coronavirus tests spread uniformly across 115 CDC qualified laboratories in the United States. The CDC is holding a surge reserve of 68,000 coronavirus tests to throw at whichever U.S. city experiences a sustained transmission. Each of these tests takes a minimum of four hours to perform. BARDA, the Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority, has released a solicitation seeking rapid in vitro coronavirus tests to be available no later than mid-June. And the deployment of rapid coronavirus tests to primary care doctors, ERs, and urgent cares in June will vastly improve the coronavirus detection grid. Now, here's our analysis of this data. Basically, the uh, CDC's coronavirus test kit deployment strategy allows us to derive their concept of operation, their CONOPS, and how they see and understand the coronavirus pandemic exploding in the United States. Uh, from the surge res reserve the CDC is holding, it's clear that the CDC expects that their current protocol limiting testing to persons with no more than one degree of freedom from a Chinese traveler will eventually fail and will result in the undetected breakthrough of sustained person-to-person -person transmission in the United States. Basically now, as of today, for you to get one of these tests, they're only going to give you this test if you're directly coming from China or you've had contact with somebody who directly came from China and has symptoms. So if you come into contact with somebody who's been to China, uh, you get the disease, but asymptomatically or light symptom and you don't go to the doctor, you pass it on to three or four other people. These people come down with the disease. They don't know where it's come from. It uh, is not tied back to anybody in China. These people will not be detected under the current detection grid. These type of people won't be able to be detected until mid-June when primary care physicians get it. So what that means is, is that there's a, there's a whole group of people who aren't going to be detected until the uh, local urgent cares or ERs get overwhelmed with people needing ventilators. And by then, it'll have a strong foothold in the country. Now, the size of the CDC's surge reserve at 68,000 test units indicates that the CDC is expecting the USA outbreak will be similar in size to the current outbreak as, re as reported in China as of February 10th. Now, there is a bit of optimistic news in here. The delay in the deployment of rapid coronavirus tests to primary care doctors until mid-June is an indication the CDC is optimistic that phase one of the coronavirus outbreak will wind down by June, similar to the way flu season winds down during late spring and, and early summer. And because they've made this determin determination, they're delaying the acquisition, acquisition of rapid tests. They're not saying, let's get them in here by February or March. They want these rapid tests to be pretty much fully vetted for accuracy because the last thing they re need right now is a bunch of erroneous positives coming out of a bad rapid test. So based on that and their belief that the flu, that the outbreak's going to wind down in June, they can hold off the June. But if it doesn't wind down in June, by then it'll be so bad that they will need these rapid tests out there at the primary care giver level. Now, we have links to this information. Here's the CDC release. Here's the uh, BARDA solicitation on SAM.gov. Uh, all this, because of all this, we're taking immediate emergency actions. Now, these are the actions that we're not taking. They're not recommendations. We're just letting you know what we're spending our money on and what we're doing. And probably the most important is this. The Prevantix swab. It's a 3% chlorhexidine and 70% isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol, basically a wipe that you can wipe your skin with. This will rapidly kill 
coronavirus on your hand faster than just regular alcohol. But when the alcohol evaporates, it'll leave behind a 3% chlorhexidine solution that can kill coronaviruses for an extended period of time on your skin. In that same regard, there is also a surgical scrub called brand name Hibiclens. It's a 4% chlorhexidine solution. We use this as a skin lotion. Rub it on our hands, let it dry in place. It should provide a strong viricide activity against coronavirus for multiple hours. This Prevantix swab, similar products are available outside the United States. Typically, they're a 2% chlorhexidine solution in an isopropyl alcohol wipe. Other things we're using, Germex Advanced. This is near impossible to get on Amazon right now. Uh, your local stores may still have some. Uh, Lysol, one ounce disinfectant. Same thing, near impossible to get on Amazon. Maybe it's still available in your, in your local stores. Uh, and our disclosures, our actions are focused on risk mitigation based on a systems of systems analysis of the CDC's actions, the available current knowledge of viricides, and the potential impacts of the Wuhan coronavirus. We do not make recommendations as to what other people should do or buy. We only offer insight into the things we're actually doing and spending money on. If you use the links above to purchase these items, we will receive monetary compensation from Amazon, which in turn will help us buy more of these items. Uh, here are the source data links on potterblog.com for all the backup information so you can go through and look through it yourself and see what the government come, says and come to your own conclusions. Inside the description of the YouTube video, we will also have the Amazon links to the uh, Hibiclens and the Preventex swabs. Good luck.